Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I will show you how to create MySQL function, how you can create a function in MySQL. I'll show you in PHP my admin as well and I'll show you using query as well. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you database first. So here you can see I'm having a student table. You can see names, status, marks, gender. And in routines, you can see there is no store procedure or function right now. So I'm going to create now. So let's go and write a query. So firstly, write delimiter. So I'm writing delimiter as right. I have to write multiple statements here and I have to send it to like server as a single unit. So basically like by default uh, delimiter is semicolon. So here I'll be writing like multiple semicolons. So that's the reason you need to define delimiter to send as a single statement. So to create a function, you need to know syntax of it. So syntax is create function after that function name. And inside that you can pass parameters. After that, you need to define returns that data type you are going to return from that function. After that, you are going to write function body. So I'm going to create a function for getting student marks. So I'll be passing student ID as a parameter and in return, I'll be getting student marks. So write create function, get student marks. And inside that, I'm going to pass ID as a parameter and it's going to be in type. So let's say 10 as a length. Now let's change ID to UID. Now main thing about function is that it will have a return value. So now we need to define it or return type. So here returns. So here it's going to return an in type because we are returning marks of a student. So it's an integer. So define int. Now let's say begin and end. We will be writing our logic inside this. Now I'm going to define a variable who's going to hold student marks. So declare student mark and it's going to be an integer type also define its length let's say 11 and default value i'm giving it's zero so now i'm going to write my query write select mark from student where id is going to be uid so this mark value needs to be hold by student mark so for that write into and pass this student mark so now it will hold the value of mark so now press go it's uh, giving a uh, error so actually i have not defined return here so I need to return this student mark here. So this return statement will give an output to your like calling program like from wherever you are calling your function. So this will give an output to it. So now run the query and your function is created. Now go to routines and you can see your first function is there. So now if I click on execute and pass let's say one ID. So now you can see it's giving mark of a student that is 75. So now let me show you in table as well open student table and you can see in next window for student 1 75 mark is there so now second thing i want to show you is how to create function using php my admin so you need to change type to function as we are going to create a function not procedure so here write uh, routine name first one so let's say get student count I'm going to create a function who will return student count on the basis of gender. So as a parameter, I'm going to pass input and that's going to be a varchar type because it's uh, stored in a string format. So now you can see its return type is already int. You can pass return length as well and you can also choose return options. So now in definition, you need to define your logic. So write begin end. And firstly, I'm going to declare a variable. So for that, I'm writing student count. So write declare student count and it's going to be an int type because I'm holding count of students. So here write int 10 and default zero. So you need to define all your variables before any select statement in function. So now I'm going to write select and in select, I'm going to count, let's say ID from student so now we are gender equals to function gender so i need to change the name let's say as gender so here i'm going to write where gender equals to as gender so now you need to pass value to student count so write into student count 
after that return this student count so write return and student count so now let's click on go and your function is created so now let's execute this so firstly i'm going to write female and you can see count is 17 for that so now let me write male and if i press go now you can see it's having 18 count so now final thing is left that is how to call a function using query so now write select get student marks so this one is function name from student and uh, let's say i'm going to take uh, s as an allies for student table and now pass s dot id here i'm passing id as a parameter of a function and i'm getting name and uh, let's say as uh, marks so now execute the query and you can see now as a result name and marks of a student are there now every student is having uh, its own marks here so i have shown you how to create a function and how to call a function using query so some key pointers i'm listing down is that in function you cannot use insert delete and update you can only use select a function like can be called using a processor and uh, compilation of a function occur when we call them in a program so that's all in this video if you have any doubt related to this topic that you can comment down below so thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel